Hello viewers, uh, we are seeing the Umbraco tutorial in our past uh, sessions. So uh, we are in the progress of how to uh, install the Umbraco and uh, we install the uh, basic template provided by the Umbraco and uh, we uh, uh, just uh, uh, saw how to um, run the applications and how to install the packages, basic versions. So today I am going to show you, this is the default uh, generation uh, content site and uh, Yes, uh, this is the uh, default uh, uh, content uh, provided by the Umbraco. So uh, it generated me the basic versions like this. This is how uh, it came. Uh, so we have the property. Dynamically, we can add such uh, designs here. So today, I'm going to see you, uh, show you how to add the um, one more property. Uh, in this uh, tab so uh, here we have the site tab uh, here uh, we have a basic uh, uh, field like uh, site description site uh, logo and uh, site title okay so uh, now uh, I going I'm planning to add one more name called uh, uh, my uh, site name it means like my company name so uh, how to add that so it's very simple go to the property section go and find the which document type used for this content just click that so you will see uh, the tab uh, design uh, for the pages so this is a content this is a, a dynamic grid front view so next this is the tab site so here only we're going to add the new property just add the new property called something like a uh, company name okay this will generate you the do alias name okay then uh, you have to choose your editor so editor I going to use this text string so then Yes, then I'm going to submit that and save further. So now uh, you uh, added the new property. So once you saved, you go to the content section again. Just click the home. to the site tab so in the down you able to see the company name uh, uh, tab uh, with the uh, with the text string text string actually it will give you the text box so yes so I am going to add my company name and you can save for the free loan okay that you can save it So this is the uh, way to add the uh, new uh, property in the tab. Uh, so uh, uh, so what I did is I go to the property and find the document type which is used for this uh, uh, section and there I added the one more property which tab you want to add. You have to go there and uh, add the new property tab. So uh, then I will show you how to uh, call uh, uh, this property in my front end. I want to display some somewhere uh, here uh, instead of uh, umbraco logo okay so how to uh, get that one it's very simple uh, go and find the master page so this is the master page that is generated for that this I will uh, uh, explain you how this is uh, generating uh, so yeah uh, so uh, that before that I just want to show you how to call uh, this uh, property in the front end so this uh, bit of research we needed so I think I uh, I will explain you uh, uh, in the future session clearly how the master page is getting generated so let me go and uh, directly add that so instead of uh, the uh, current page dot name so the current page uh, name as a title it is coming for home dot slash instead of that uh, please uh, take uh, this company name so this company name so you need to uh, go and uh, find the alias name of that so alias name what it is generated we'll go and see in the document type so alias name is company name the same as it is so just copy that okay so just in the title section instead of uh, taking the name I just uh, save that and re refresh the page the 
states are rebuilding again yep uh, it's changed my title uh, to go freelancer so here I added uh, that my company name as a go freelancer so uh, uh, it's uh, take me here so instead of uh, taking the title value so title which I mentioned here as a Fana Broco starter kit this is a default generation so instead of that I just uh, uh, used my uh, instead of uh, telling uh, uh, ask uh, uh, to use the uh, title home uh, my company so we can uh, even add uh, my home as well so company so before that I can go and uh, use it so here uh, I can tell that please use the name as well so it will be looks pretty good so this is like additional stuffs so I want to add my company as a dynamically in my title so I I just uh, created the new property hopes you understand so see the title now how uh, my current page uh, name and the company name and the site title so uh, this is the way to add the new property go and try from your end if you have any doubt queries please comment us thanks for watching the video guys please subscribe our channel if you not subscribed before